Hey, we're back again at the Too Fast channel. We've got another tabletop review, unboxing, and installation of a Red Dot site made by Fiachi. It is their RS-28. This is a new product for them. This normally runs about $32.99 on Amazon. Right now, there's an Amazon coupon for $10 off. You can get this for $22.99. Now, this um, site uh, may also be on sale during Fiachi's uh, Amazon Black Friday sale uh, from November 21st through 28th. They have this every year, uh, and most of their products will have a 20% discount. So you can either pick it up now or you can wait for their Black Friday sale on Amazon and see if you can even get a better deal. I'll put the link for this in the description and I'll put a link to Fiachi's direct website so you can check out this site as well as some of their other products uh, if you're uh, interested. So this is, um, this is an interesting site uh, and it has features that I don't normally look for when I'm buying a Red Dot. Um, one of the things I like uh, right off the bat is the um, field of view through this lens, which is 33 millimeters. Most red dots are, are normally a 25 millimeter, so you've got a pretty wide field of view on this. Um, this is made from aircraft grade aluminum, probably a 6000 series aluminum. Uh, it's anodized flat black. Um, the lens is listed as having a, a, a multi-coated lens. It has four selectable reticles and five brightness settings, and you can change the color of the reticle from red to green. So there's quite a lot of flexibility here um, if you want to buy something like this for use on your rifle or if you run Airsoft. This would be a great item for Airsoft as well. Uh, you know, I ended up getting the $10 off uh, using the ten dollar off coupon, so I got this for you know twenty two ninety nine. Um, so uh, really good deal for this particular site. Uh, let's take a look at what we get in our box. We have a cleaning cloth with the Fiachi logo on it. It's always nice to have. We have their user manual, which we'll take a look at. Uh, this particular user manual appears to cover the RS-28, RS-71, and RSL-18. So three different sites in this design category. Um, so what do we got? Field of view, uh, windage and elevation adjustments, one MOA adjustment range, plus minus 30 MOA, 82 millimeter length, uh, uses a CR2032 battery. Weight is four ounces. Size is 3.2 by 1.5 by 2.1. Um, so the RSL18 uses LR44 batteries. This uses the CR2032. It says it comes with one battery, but mine has a battery installed and a battery in a sealed package. So mine actually came with two batteries. Yours may or may not include two batteries. Also, this comes with two wrenches, and uh, you only need one wrench for this site. The other wrench is designed for use on one of the other variants in this category, and that variant would be, um, where is it? It's somewhere here. It's right there. The RSL-18. So you see this little tiny Allen key down there. That's for uh, windage and elevation adjustments on this particular site, which has an integrated uh, laser. So for some reason, this particular site comes with that wrench, even though you do not get the laser. So you have an extra wrench, just so you're not wondering, why do I have two wrenches? Uh, what do I do with the other one? And here's our little packet of goodies. So we have a, a new battery in package, and I have one already installed, and that's how it shipped. So for this particular site, you only need this wrench, this little teeny one, that's for the other site, so you don't need that. That's an extra. And that's basically it. 
Um, this particular box is definitely got the Fiachi logo on it and the model number, which is nice. Uh, nothing not too fancy of packaging, but the packaging does get its, does do, does the job just fine. All right, so we also have a cover. So when you're not using your sight, you can put this cover on it and protect your lens. Now this doesn't uh, have any type of auto off or any facility where you pull this, put this on, it turns off, or you take it off and it turns on, nothing like that. Um, uh, this is our battery compartment. You can use a coin or maybe the uh, lip of a spent shell casing to loosen this up if it's too tight. Um, you take the cover off and drop the battery in. Uh, I guess we could take this off real quick. Shouldn't be on super tight. And that's where our battery goes. So the positive side goes up. All right, so on the side, Yours should come probably like so, or maybe the, the G will be on there for the green. Um, this is how you set the intensity and switch the colors. So the red R means, obviously the dot's gonna be red, R means off. So if we toggle, or we toggle forward, R1 would be level one in red, level two, three, four, five being the brightness and then the next step would be the g g is off but g is for green so this would be a green dot level one two three four five and then we're back to red our windage and elevation adjustments are accomplished uh, here via this allen key you can make the adjustments uh, moving around to the rear, this particular uh, lever back here allows you to choose the dots. Uh, let's actually go back to the user manual real quick. What do we got here? There we go. Uh, I want to show this because I it, it's next to impossible for me to get the camera to focus and show these dots clearly. So... Uh, if you want to see what these dots look like, um, this for, for the purposes of this video, this is going to be the, the best option. So you have a starburst option, a dot cross, a bullseye, and a dot. So that's what they look like um, on the site. And uh, and then we to choose, you just kind of move this toggle around like so, and then choose your intensity level. To, I'll, I'll put it up to like five and there we go well it's kind of focusing a little bit I think you can see it camera doesn't necessarily want to really focus uh, we'll just cycle through them anyway so there's just the regular dot, circle dot, cross dot, and the starburst. And if we toggle over to the green, I'll just put it on the highest setting. There's the green. I like the red myself. I've never had the need to uh, want green, but it is there if you so want it. I'm used to red. So that is um, the functionality of this site. Um, the mount, you know, let's take a look at that. It has a integrated mount here. It's not adjustable. So um, it's going to be what it is. Um, out of the box, it, let's see what the, 
if this is a 37 or 40 millimeter I'm just checking to see uh, this site does have a 12 month warranty not bad for site in this price range uh, I do not know if this is one-third or absolute co-witness so um, I will be mounting this on my SBR upper receiver I normally run absolute co-witness so uh, my red dot will um, co-witness for the stock uh, AR site on the front and we'll find out if this is absolute or one-third um, once I get it installed so um, the mount itself has two bolts and there's one cross pin only and so no quick release or anything like that and that's about it um, the sight picture from what I have seen so far is is nice um, I don't need all of these different reticle options myself uh, I use just the regular dot but the dot is nice and small and it's crisp um, and uh, the lens is nice and clear a, a lot of times these lenses are uh, colored and uh, tinted and such um, that's normal red dot sites have a, um, a, a dot projector inside of them so uh, the lenses are normally tinted this one's actually fairly clear um, so a good sight picture on this um, the fit and finish on this is nice um, it's it's a lot longer than what I would care for I mean this whole assembly back here for selecting the different reticles you know I, I could do without I mean if it was shorter it would be more ideal because um, myself I don't need all that reticle all the different reticle selections but it would have been nice if it was a bit shorter because I think what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to try and run this with a magnifier and I think um, what we're going to end up with is it's going to end up having to be pretty far up here because of the magnifier because it's so long but we'll see how it goes so let me uh, let's go ahead and see if I can mount this up here on my SBR upper and let me get a magnifier because I want to pair this with the Fiocchi M40 3x red dot magnifier and see how well this works with the magnifiers so uh, I'll be back in just a sec okay so um, I've got the M40 Fiocchi 3x magnifier uh, installed you can see where I have to place this because I have uh, have my uh, it's a Troy Industries uh, rear flip up site back here I've got this moved all the way to the back and I've got this site or this magnifier moved as far back as I can move it so I've got clearance um, this is the uh, focus adjustment on the 3x magnifier and this is a flip to side magnifier that Fiocchi makes did a separate review on this if you want to check it out so uh, I've got that installed where that needs to be and this is gonna have to go right about there so just a little bit of it a little bit of the site will be on the upper receiver but the majority of it will be on the handguard so right about there is where it's going to have to live so let's see how to get this tightened down a little bit now access to the reticle switch in this configuration is a little cumbersome because I will have to flip the magnifier to the side for better access to the switch so I'm just going to try and get this snug a little bit for the video it doesn't have to be permanent okay so that's about where it's going to have to live 
Um, uh, not too bad. At least um, some of the sight is on the upper receiver. I like to have the sight. Um, I like to have all my components on the upper receiver. Uh, I don't want to have my zero messed up by the handguard uh, moving. Um, uh, so it's always best to have your, your sight on mounted securely on your upper receiver and then sighted in, and then you don't have any problems with losing zero. But this is kind of how this is going to have to run. Um, pretty nice little setup. Um, I can't really show you the sight picture through the magnifier and through the red dot on the camera because I cannot get the camera to focus. Uh, it wants to focus on on anything except for the red dot. It doesn't want to look down uh, through the magnifier and focus on the red dot. But uh, this does work. Um, I've got a great sight picture. Uh, the red dot is very crisp. Um, and what I forgot to check, let me take it off camera real quick. Yeah, it looks like um, we've got absolute co-witness. Uh, this particular red dot is not sighted in, but out of the box, you get uh, uh, absolute co-witness. From what I can tell from my uh, initial uh, glance at it. So that'll work out for me. Um, uh, I'll have to, to actually cite it in, uh, which I'm going to do on another SBR. Um, this red dot's not going to live on this particular upper. It's going on another one. So uh, I'll cite it in on another one. But uh, anyway, um, those are my initial impressions. Um, with it, um, you can pair this up with the M40 uh, magnifier or you can use it by itself. Uh, I will be using it without a magnifier on another SBR that I have, which needs a red dot sight. So that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, uh, aside from that, I can't comment on longevity at this point because I have not used it um, or fired a uh, firearm with the sight on there. So I can't make any comments about that. Uh, at this point, because um, that's not what this video is all about. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tabletop review of the RS-28 uh, Fiachi Reflex site off of Amazon. Um, the Amazon link directly is in the comments or in the description. And Fiachi's direct website is also in the description if you want to uh, check out their other products. All right. Um, Thanks for uh, watching till the end, and we'll catch you in the next video.